Hey everybody, it's Karen Bentley here today. Thanks for finding your way to my channel. Hey, I've got a great invitation for you today and it's this, to come to the love experience where you fall madly, passionately, deeply in love with yourself. You give me one day of your life, I give you seven life-changing transformational tools and you have a lifetime of living in your own goodness, your own worthiness, your own importance. How good is that? Um, Self-love is the answer to every problem, whether that problem is a dependency, a health condition or some kind of illness, um, some kind of loss, some kind of betrayal, any kind of trauma. Whatever the situation that you're dealing with happens to be, self-love is going to help it. It's going to make your life better. I, I guarantee it will make your life better. There's just no doubt about this. So self-love is the answer. And um, it's also the key to a successful and complete life in other areas. And it is the key to um, having less conflict and, and more harmonious relationships. So self-love is really going to do a lot of great things for you. And the great news, the really exciting news that maybe you haven't heard before is that self-love is just a skill. It's just a skill, baby. And anybody can learn it, even you. That means because it's skill-based, because it's a mindset and a skill set, that if you want to, you can say goodbye to a lifetime of therapy. I mean, if you enjoy therapy, knock yourself out. But if you're going into it like taking medicine, you can avoid it by learning these self-love skills. And you can forget about spending a lifetime blaming mommy and daddy for what they did or didn't do. And you, f you can forget spending a lifetime blaming yourself for everything you did or didn't do. You just have to take the time to develop your own awareness and your own new skill set and you'll be on your way. Because um, learning self-love is like pressing the restart button on your computer. You know how it works on your computer. You press that button and it powers up and everything's good and that's what's going to happen in your life. You're going to press the restart button and it's going to repower up with new, new energy new vitality, new life that you're going to breathe into yourself. And uh, it's just going to work out really well. So I'm going to, in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to explain to you the four goals of the love experience and why they're really useful to you. And then I'm going to explain to you why I consider this a radical and revolutionary program. And I'm not just saying that for clickbait or to be a smart aleck. I really do think it is. And then I'm going to give you some logistics about where you can find out more and sign up. And uh, so stick around to the end because it's all good stuff. Okay, so we've got the four goals of the love experience, a one of a kind, life changing, transformational program that you're not going to get anywhere else. Uh, so the first goal is simply the awareness, a new awareness, a profound awareness of what it means to be a loving being. And this is really important because love is one of those vague words that means different things to be to different people. So for example, I've probably read 60 or 70 books on love from various experts of every kind and they're all they're all they've all been pretty great and interesting, but every single person has a different definition. Every single person has a different set of steps. And whose advice do I take? What expert do I choose? Do I do them all? Do I do some? What, 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 what? And this is the way it is in your own life too. Everybody has a different definition of what it means to be a loving being. So what we do is we distill it. We condense it down to the simplest, most self-directing definition of love. And this is a definition that is going to strategically guide you. You don't need me or anybody else to tell you how to be a loving being once you have this simple, basic, stripped down, elegant definition of love. And it is going to save you because you can always rely on this definition no matter what situation you find yourself in, no matter how convoluted, no matter how confusing, you can rely on this sem simple definition of love to 
help you out to leave you feeling good about yourself and others. And that's the important thing. So that's the first definition, a new mindset, a new definition of love that is going to take you where you want to go and that can be applied to every situation. The second goal of the love experience is to help you to remember and see your own goodness, your own worthiness, your own value, your own importance, which we've all forgotten. And one of the ways we do this is by divining what we want in any situation. Typically, what we want is sacrifice. We just think it doesn't matter. You know, so we sacrifice it to please others, to get along, to make life work. And, um, you know, you sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice. And uh, pretty soon you start thinking that you're just not, you're not worthy. You're not worth it. So we have to we have to correct that and we do that by learning a new process for figuring out what we want in every situation. That sounds like a nothing burger. It sounds like easy peasy simple thing, but it's it's not so easy. It takes a little consciousness and a and a tiny skill, and that's what you get at the love experience. A way to value yourself, a way to honor yourself in every situation by simply taking the time to cut through all the conflicting messages and confusion and know what you want. You know, I've heard it said that you're nothing if you don't have family. But what if you don't have family? And I've heard it said that you're nothing if you don't have a special relationship. But what if you don't have a special relationship? And I've heard it said that it takes a village, meaning it takes a support system to have a complete and successful life. But what if you don't have a support a support system. And I'm not suggesting that any of those things are undesirable or bad or um, something you shouldn't desire. But what I am saying is that you are enough, my friend. You are worthy. You are everything you ever wanted and more. And so that's the second goal of the love experience. The third goal of the love experience is where you get those seven skills, those seven profound life-changing skills. And uh, why do we need seven skills? Well, it takes no skill to be loving when things are nicey-nice and when people do what you want and the world goes according to your plan, right? That takes no skill whatsoever, right? It's just easy. It comes to you. But when people frustrate you, when they disappoint you, when they are contrary to you, when they're mean to you, when they betray you, when they exclude you, when you don't get that promotion, when something happens like that, that is when you need that new awareness of what it means to be a loving being. And that is when you need those seven, where, where, here we go, seven, seven skills that are going to save you, right? Because otherwise, if we don't have those seven skills, we're going to go to the dark side. And the dark side are, are practices like anger and hissy fits and guilt trips and manipulation and lying and um, avoiding and um, everything else that we do to get people to capitulate. And we've all been the ones who receive dark side practices and we've all been the ones to deliver them and no, there's no judgment here. This is part of the human condition. There is no judgment. Um, but what I'm suggesting is that learning some new skills to deal with storm conditions are going to help you enormously to feel good about yourself and to feel good about others. And that's really what it's all about. Because when you feel good about yourself, you feel worthy of receiving goodness. And when you don't feel good about yourself, you, you block yourself. You, you block all the goodness that this world has to offer you. And so we, we want to remove those blocks so that goodness comes to you because you think good things about yourself. It's as simple as that. So um, the problem with the dark side practices is that they work. I mean, that's the real basic problem. We know they work. You know, there's, there's resistance to believing that darkness works. You know, we want to think, oh, it's, it's not as powerful as light. But it works. We all know it works because we can get people to do what we want and uh, other people get us to do what they want through those practices. Um, so, you know, the hard part is giving up, giving that up. And um, I would never ask you 
to give it up without replacing it with something better, something more empowering. You know, so it's not, you're not giving anything up. You're just turning it in for something better, all right? And the other problem with the dark side is that it exacts a price on relationships. So, you know, maybe relationships can continue in a deteriorated way. Um, maybe uh, they get completely cut off. You know, you leave a lot of dead bodies. And I mean that figuratively, not literally, you know, dead bodies are because of because of all your dark side practices or whatever anybody else has done to you, you know, um, it, it leaves dead bodies. And so the goal is to have less, less dead bodies around you, figuratively speaking. So those are the, you know, the, the advantage of the dark side is it works, the disadvantages, the bad feeling, and, and a lot of cluttered, bad relationships. So we're going to try to avoid that. We're going to try to keep our house clean. It's easier to keep your interior house clean than it is to constantly clean it and do scrub downs. You know, it's easier. It's an easier way to go through life. Um, you know, but always it's your choice. So that's the third goal, those seven skills, you know, and the fourth goal is to have a love-based day, a love-enriched day, a love-nourishing day, a day where you extend love to everybody in our, our little group and receive love from everybody in our little group and to be uplifted by it and to practice our new tools on each other in a loving way and, um, and to just have a day that feels really good, that you can remember, that you can pull out and, and recall and use as time goes by. So those are the four goals of the love experience. Why do I call it radi radical and revolutionary? Two reasons. One is that um, this is a countercultural message. Counterculture means you're not going to hear it anyplace else. It's really something quite different. And you're not going to get it in movies. For sure you're not going to get it in movies. And you're not going to read it in books. And you're not going to get it at home. And you're not going to get it in schools or in businesses or even in churches. You're just not going to get it. So if you're expecting to see or hear the same old, same old, you're going to be really disappointed because this is not the same old, same old. That's why I call it revolutionary. It's a counter-cultural message. I call it the first step out of the matrix, meaning it's the first step out of the programming and robotic conditioning that we all buy into. And again, no judgment. It's just the human condition. But it's your first step out to freedom. Um, the second reason that I call it radical is because um, this new perception and these new skills are going to crack your mind open just a tiny bit. It's going to crack it open. And once the mind is open, other things come in. New experiences come in. And it changes your life. So once your mind is open, it can never be closed. Once you have a new awareness, you can't undo it. You can't become unaware. It is irrevocable. And that's why I call it radical. Um, about how to find out about the love experience, go to my website, karenbentley.com. Click on the tab that says the love experience. And you can read more about it. You can uh, sign up. There's a, a, a button. You can see my, my schedule. Um, I tend to host uh, one seminar a month in southern New Hampshire near the, the Massachusetts border. It is drivable from any New England state. And it is flyable from everywhere else. There's two airports you could use. One is the Boston Logan Airport, which is a little trafficy and congested, but it still works. And the other is the Manchester Regional Airport in New Hampshire. Easy peasy. I love that airport. It's great. Um, it is a full day program. It is a long day, but we do it in one day. And it has to be done in person. It just doesn't work. Um, in a webinar format. We need to have each other's energies. We need to connect. We need to join. We need to have that love vibe. You know what I mean? So that is the love experience. And again, you give me one day, I give you seven life-changing skills. You get a lifetime of self-love, self-worthiness, self-value, and it is a good thing. Uh, hey, you know what to do here to help me out on YouTube. Smash that smash that like button. Sub to my channel. I do try to put a video out every every week. 
but I, I'm not always the best at this. But I, that's the goal, at least. And uh, have a conversation with me. I'll talk to you in the comments. And um, hey, if you happen to know Oprah, please ask her to call me because I know, I know that she would love the love experience. It's right up her alley. So come back, come back. I can't wait to be with you again. And bye for now. Mwah. Big love at you.